Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today is the silent assassin run of Amendment 25. And, uh... This, this stage, uh... It's a tricky stage. It's a tricky Listen, stage boys, for, uh, for silent assassin running. Um, because it's, 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 a uh, it's a linear stage, and it's, um, there aren't a lot of options available to us. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run in here, I'm gonna set some enticing bait for our guard here. I'm gonna drop a mine, and guards and hitman blood money can't help but pick up mines. Come on, come on, and, what? Oh, oh, come on. Let's see if we can... There we go. I guess he got distracted there. So, we're gonna wait for him to pick up that mine. And then we're gonna give him a little prick. There we go. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Nice. Alright, so this is a much quicker way to get past uh, security in this first section. The other way, of course, is waiting for that... Uh, that museum guide to... Uh, that museum guide to come into the bathroom on the left there, but that's very slow. And that also means that you need to take uh, a Marine's outfit right afterwards if you really want to get farther than that. And that means we have to use another uh, sedate uh, syringe to sedate them, which we can't really afford. I'm going to need that other, that other syringe for a little later, a little later on. And, uh, of course we took the tape, so that way we don't have to worry about avoiding the cameras. You know, if we didn't, then we'd have to time things a little, a little tight. So both these guys are, have their backs turned, so I'm gonna pick this lock here. Um, funny thing, uh, the First Lady and the Vice President don't care that a Marine is Justice in here. Is they don't care at all, but, uh, the Marines and the Secret Service do mind. They mind a lot. They'll shoot you if they find you in there, so... I'm gonna strangle this guy. Hello, Daniel. I'm talking to you. And needs and we want to be really quick here because uh, if we're not fast enough, the first lady will come in and see us as we try to dump the body in the bin, the very convenient bin in the next room. And uh, she really wants that dog walked, so we gotta hurry up here. And by the way, I, I think it's really funny that the, uh, the Vice President carries a Desert Eagle on him. It's very odd. I didn't think, uh, you know, the President or Vice President carried guns, but hey. Alright, now we're done with that guy. Very easy target, as long as you know what you're doing. I'm gonna run down here, and it's time to go to the West Wing. And the West Wing is, uh, is a tricky bit. It's easy to have your cover blown, even if you've done everything right. here, and I'm going to set a little present for our next target here ahead of time. That'll make things a lot easier come when the time comes, so it's much safer than getting into a firefight. And I'm going to get my other sleepy time syringe ready to go. Now, uh, this uh, Secret Service here is having a smoke break, but he's not the guy we want. It's actually the guy coming in behind him. Here he is, that we want. Of course, right afterwards, we're going to get a Secret Service outfit, but um, I've tried to sneak in uh, to get the Secret Service outfit uh, without uh, taking any, taking the janitor's outfit, and it's very difficult. It's very tricky. It's, uh, it's almost as hard as sneaking around in Absolution is, so I'm going to take the easy way. Put this guy to sleep. And, uh, this syringe won't kill him, but the pneumonia probably will after we leave him outside here in his underwear for a few hours. But hey, uh, deaths in the long run don't count. It's immediate deaths that count. Okay, so, I'm gonna drag this guy, and... I wanna make sure... You know, he's behind one of those, uh, I don't know, I'm not really sure if they are air conditioning units, maybe, or something. Um, and we're gonna, uh... We're going to uh, make sure that he's out of the way. Um, you can be really careful hiding this guy. And sometimes 
he still found. Um, and, uh, well, that's not really something that we can control. Sometimes you gotta just leave things up to luck. And to me, that's not great design, but hey, I'm gonna try not to complain about this level too much. After all, we're almost done. We want to end on a high note, right? Okay. So now that we're in here, I can run in here. Now, like I said, it's possible to sneak in here <clears throat> and take this outfit on the uh, on the table, but it's very hard. So I'm going to wait for him to turn his head and go Betty by. I guess I didn't know the Secret Service had nap time. Whatever. There we go. Now, this is the outfit we're going to be using for the rest of the level. Um... The reason I changed in the Secret Service is because I'm not sure if the janitor is allowed to go backwards in the level, which is what we'll have to do after we're done uh, killing who we have to kill. And I never really wanted to go through the trouble of figuring out whether or not uh, we could. So I said, uh, forget about that. I'm just going to stick with the Secret Service outfit. And okay, I did a little cut there because the game was slowing down a lot but I assure you it's the same playthrough. Now we're gonna head in here to the Oval Office. So and I can't skip over this cutscene, so we're just gonna have to watch throne. it again. You don't want to kill me, 47. Oh, yes I I'm do, I wanna like kill you so bad. Our similarities are irrelevant. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do you know, whatever I'm feeling. 47 uh, is pretty plain looking, except for the fact that he's got a, bar, a barcode tattooed on his head. Uh, so, you know, that makes him changing outfits and things, uh, seem pretty, pretty, pretty easy, right? I mean, you can blend in, but Mark Precesi the Third is an albino with, uh, you know, rose-tinted glasses. I mean, um, he's not exactly, uh, he's not exactly inconspicuous, if you know what I mean. And, you know, now that I've thought about it, we've already killed this guy once before, haven't we? I mean, he's not the same guy, but he's a clone of a clone, so... Huh. Well, this guy's significantly harder to kill. I wonder if uh, the famous Mark Precesi III is a better assassin than his other two. You know, maybe maybe because he was better cloned, or maybe just because he has more experience. I don't know. Um... So, I don't want to detonate the bomb with this marine around, rubbing his chin, because he might aggro on us, and that would ruin everything, so I'm going to wait for him to leave, and he will in a moment. And if you'll remember, I dropped the bomb outside, and we're going to use it. Okay, see you later. And there's Mark Parchezzi. Say cheese, Mark. Say cheese. He's dead. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so, uh... Oh, that's not our body, by the way. If you remember in the last video, uh, that's the... That's the poor janitor that Mark Precesi killed and impersonated in order to get into the Oval Office. I didn't know janitor was allowed to just hang out in the Oval Office without supervision, but hey, whatever. Alright. And really, all there is left to do is just jog on back to, uh, to the, the entrance there and get our suit back. And no one suspects a thing. Alright. Almost there. I'm gonna walk through here. Get in here. And there we go. Nice. Close that door behind us and now we're gonna leave. A funny story, uh, right before I exited in the last recording I did, uh, they found the body of the janitor on the roof right outside the West Wing, and it ruined my run. It gave me professional rather than silent assassin, so I had to redo the whole thing. Anyway, we did it this time, silent assassin. Um, I'm not sure if it's possible to do that with suit only. Um, you know, good luck to man the hat. Man with hat, I should say. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay, cool. And this time the newspaper didn't fuck up, I guess. Um, so there's a very boring picture of him and another article reiterating what happened. And one strange thing I noticed is that uh, 
it says that we killed him with our mine, but we killed Mark Precesi with a mine. We strangled the vice president. So it's a little odd. Um, you know, whatever. And same as always, the newspaper is very boring. So, yeah. Uh, you know, boring level, boring newspaper. Okay, so that's it for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm Nick Meister. I'll see you next time.